is the private sector in your view uh, not following the lead that the government is sending and if so why would that be the case first of all i am delighted to be here delighted because being in the midst of celebrity entrepreneurs that's the term i coined in coming here i entirely agree with uh, mr arun puri when he talks about india being a country of entrepreneurs i think after a long time a government is trying to push an ecosystem and succeeding to a large extent in which the public sector has also responded with vibrant growth in fact if you look at the six large companies in the country um, if you take out reliance industries and lic the other four are oil companies now you can quarrel with the nuance of the statistic you can't take away the uh, hard facts somebody was trying to have some fun with me the other day and said ha market badi hai to companies bhi uthi hain so which i didn't want to respond because you know after uh, more than half a century in in battling uh, we you know having to navigate such situation one day next press conference i had i put up a slide i said nifty has gone up by 43% and all the oil companies that you are naming have gone up in multiples thereof somebody twice somebody thrice somebody four times so the public sector is doing well but i would say about time because the public sector in the past did not rise to the occasion now when it comes to the private sector look i think amitabh and i belong to the same school two thirds of domestic resources and mobilization comes from the private sector i have no doubt that will always continue to be the case but i think the time has come for the indian private sector to shed some of the inhibitions and to accept global challenges which are theirs i think it's it's low hanging fruit for them why do i say that not because many of my friends are um, being acknowledged uh, globally no but for an entirely different reason i think uh, your chairman when he was speaking he was referring to the global situation the honest god's truth is that large parts of a world which we were deeply influenced by let me say the european union to start with they are facing economic challenges of a very high order if you get quarter on quarter stagnant or negative growth you are technically in a recession there's no point in us saying no the recovery is there so the fact is there it's not there now i say that from the perspective of the energy sector with which i am directly linked i went to germany recently i went to austria i've seen what's happening in france in the uk so there is an anxiety factor there but more than that in the world's large second largest economy 19 trillion dollars there are issues there are issues and i think when the full facts get known we'll get a clearer picture of what's happening so when mr puri says that india is a bright spot i don't know why you use the word bright spot or sweet spot but that's a fact what i would like to see this is a personal wish i don't speak on behalf of the government you are going to grill me on who i am and what i talk about but i think the indian private sector needs to step out 